Hey guys, this is Ant for Games to Find, and today's video is going to be on tearing cloth. Okay, so to get started, what we need to do is create a cloth. So we we'll use a plane tool and just make it about this size. We'll just make it an even 164 by 111. Yeah, this will do. Okay, so if you've already watched my cloth video, then great but this one's going to be a bit different okay so what we want to do instead of converting it to an editable poly straight away is we want to right click convert to and then choose convert to nerves okay and this is what you'll get okay so if you want to come to surface approximation and change that to high and then come to come down to advanced parameters click this bottom option here and change this right down to something like 3000 and this is what you'll get it's very similar to garment maker which is available in the previous versions of 3ds max but not this one okay so when we've done that you want to convert this to an editable poly and in the modifies list you want to select HSDS like this okay but before we do that we want to use our box tool and create an object that will tear through the cloth we're going to make it about this big nope wrong one let's change that back in here move it about there and then using the auto key we're just going to move it all the way and just move it across a bit first all the way to there okay and we're just going to move this down a bit actually make it a bit faster and just like this okay this will that will do right now if you want to just select the cloth again and now come into polygon selection into this side view here I want to select some polygons around the box like this and then we want to subdivide okay and what that does it just adds more polygons to it and just makes it a lot more detailed Okay, so when we've done that, what you want to do is, so we come back into this, convert it to an editable poly, and then you want to add a cloth modifier, and then you want to select, so you want to click group, and to stop this from moving down, the whole cloth from moving down, you want to select the top row. Okay, the top row of vertices click make group call it top row or whatever you want to call it and then choose preserve okay and that just stops this whole cloth from moving now what you want to do is select the the other polygon uh, vertices in here okay um you want to come to selection we'll just change it to this and just make a random shape okay like that just add a few random one add a few random tears in here like that Okay, and that'll do. Now if you want to just click make tear, we'll call it tear, like that. Okay, now it's time to add the object, the um, collision object. But firstly we want to select plane, click cloth, and choose some just like cotton. That's the most common one. Okay, now we want to click add objects 
and then we want to click box click add and then come down to collision object and do not forget to click the box cuts cloth okay we'll click OK on that right and now we want to just click simulate like so and we just want to actually stop this now select the box and just move this keyframe right back say about here right and then just click simulate again Okay, and just stop that. I right, want to move this all the way back again. Just move this up further, a lot further. It's about there, and then we want to change gravity down a lot to about 400. Actually, let's try 350 first. Okay, and then just click simulate again. Oh, well that's wrong. Before we do that, cancel that. I'm going to click Erase Simulation. Just select this all the way back. And then click Simulate again. There we go. And as you can see, it's tearing the cloth very aggressively so if we just let this go in a bit further right and stop that there right now if we just zoom in you can see the lines we just select this again the lines are very rough and all this very dramatic actually but hey, why not okay so as you can see it's gone completely through it All right, we'll just come back through this and then we'll just go through it slowly next and as you can see it's just destroying it there we go okay so obviously the better your computer the smoother your animation will be so I mean this laptop's not perfect but it's good enough to show you the example okay, so that's pretty much it that's exactly how you tear through cloth that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed if you've got any questions please leave a comment uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more 3ds Max tutorials thanks for watching